my pul pulmonary hypertension. Knowledge is the first step of awareness. Um, a verse I have is Proverbs 24, verse 5, and it says, A wise man is strong, yet a man knowledge increases strength. Wow. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So, um, just like Kalasia stated, pH is a complex um, and often misunderstood disease. The term pH means high blood, per I mean high pressure in the lungs. Now, in regular hypertension, such as high blood pressure, the pressure in the arteries throughout the, the body can be measured using a, a, a blood pressure cuff. And when you have high blood pressure through the body, the pressure is higher than it should be. Well, this, um, when we talk about pH, the blood vessels, specifically in the lungs, are affected. They, they become stiff, damaged, or narrow, and the right side of the heart must work harder to pump blood through. So, um, I mean, just think about trying to just think about trying to get, I don't know, an elephant through a straw. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's just, and, and your heart, that's your heart just beating I'm that just much so harder mm. to pump that oxygen, that, that, that oxygen, ox, oxygenated blood to the heart and to the other organs that needs that, uh, that, that necessary blood. Mm. Now, each form of pH uh, of pulmonary hypertension is different. So it's important that if a newly diagnosed person uh, uh, goes to their doctor, it is important that the specialist know what is causing their pH and develop a treatment plan that is right just for that type of pH because there are different types. Now, every person with pH is different and New research is being conducted every day with the potential to improve the outlook for people living with this disease. And we bring this awareness because, just like Kalasia said, if you're having problems breathing or shortness of breath, the first thing the doctors are going to go to is asthma. They're going to go to COPD. That's the first thing. But you are an advocate for your own health. Mm -hmm. So you knowing, having awareness of, hey, I need you to look a little deeper because something is going on. It's something more happening. So some of the common symptoms uh, include shortness of breath, fatigue, chest pain, dizziness, dizziness fainting, uh, those type of symptoms. I have outlined those on the uh, copies that some of you all should have in front of you. If you don't have one, I can uh, get a copy for you. Um, and once, once your doctor suspects that you have pH, they would need a detailed medical history. They'll run uh, uh, some diagnosis, um, um, physical exam to get the medical attention you need, the physical therapy, or whatever the, the case may be, so you can get on the road to recovery. Um, it's, it is a, it's a very, very serious disease. And in most cases, in most cases, pulmonary hypertension cannot be cured. Mm. But with proper treatment, you can improve symptoms and slow the disease progression. The exception is CTEF, uh, which can be cured through surgery. And this is where Brother Melvin will come in and give you more of a detail because Melvin is a survivor. Amen. 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 Just rarely diagnosed. It, it, it can be under the radar. It can be seen as COPD or considered as asthma. Uh, when I first encountered uh, pulmonary hypertension, this was back in 2013 when um, I was about 100 or so pounds lighter and had a little bit more hair. But, um, <laughs> I was real big with doing martial arts back then, just getting up there and, and training for. My goal was to go for state in Louisiana, and 
I started feeling the fatigue and punching on the bag. And here, I thought it was just, you know, maybe just working out too much, too much overtraining. You know, maybe it's slowing down. Because I would get out there and I'd be on there <laughs> two or three hours at a time just going at it. Um, but when it really hit me is when I was on the job. And back then, I used to install satellites for DirecTV, which was on a third party. And I remember climbing the ladder, y'all. I was uh, somewhere up there in North Louisiana. I forget specifically what the city is. But climbing the ladder, and I just remember going up, and I woke up on the ground, and the person whose house I was behind never knew I fell. <laughs> they had a bunch of, I guess, labs or puppies, and it was one of the, the dogs licking my face that woke me up off the ground. Wow. 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 And I realized then that, you know, this was, this was crazy. I called Tr Tremaine, and from there, y'all, it just, it just went downhill. Um, um, just to kind of compact the story a little, little more, um, I would see doctors in, in <laughs> Ruston, and they would give me inhalers, they would say, you know, asthma, but nobody really knew the real gist of it. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't until then that um, one of Tremaine's relatives told me about a doctor out here in New Orleans. And what's crazy about that is initially Tremaine and I were wanting to stay moving west. We didn't want to come to back down to Louisiana. But um, um, they say if you want to make the Lord laugh, you know, <laughs> tell them your plans. <laughs> okay. So I'm having that struggle with the pulmonary hypertension. And it's, again, like I said, it's going downhill. Just taking a bath, getting up here, talking to you all. If I was still suffering from that, it would I wouldn't be able to make it. Wow. I wouldn't be able to stand. Passing out was frequent. Wow. It was, I mean, ex Janelle and Tremaine, there was a time where I, I mean I just sat down too fast in the bed and next thing I know I was waking up off the floor and the ambulance was there. Mm. It was it was crazy. But um again, thank God that uh, Tremaine, one of Tremaine's relatives told me about a doctor out of New Orleans who really knew how to diagnose that. Mm -hmm. And from there, um, he pointed me to a doctor where I was able to get surgery out of San Diego. On um, And my surgery was on August, no, October 31st of all days. You know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. And back then, um, I like to tell Tremaine um, when we were discussing last night is that when I was saying you want to make the Lord laugh, tell him of your plans, I think everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. right? And, you know, our, us coming back down here to me was a way of the Lord watching out for us. Mm -hmm. And it may sound crazy, and but where we at now and how rooted and deeply rooted we are in the word, Amen. learning from you all, you know, absorbing the word, mm -hmm. growing in it, I don't think Tremaine and I would have had that same effect wow. if we continued, you know, moving out west. Yeah. Mm. You know, wow. yeah, we would have ran in the preachers, but I don't think they would have been as truthful as yeah. what we've experienced from you yeah. all. Praise so, God. I'm God God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Y'all be the glory. <laughs> but, you know, again, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As, as of October 31st of this year, it's been eight years. Wow. Oh. Praise the oh. Hallelujah. The temple right after Malachi. <laughs> <laughs> up here, holler screen. It feels good to get up here and actually speak, do exhortations, and not get tired. Mm. You know, not be out of breath. Wow. So I'm extremely thankful of that. Amen. Amen. Okay, praise God uh, for that awesome testimony. Um, I was uh, sharing with Minister Tam in the back how just like we have to be an advocate for our children's education. We have to be an advocate for our spouse's health because yeah. that was a scary time for us. And my husband, I, you know, it is true. We, we weren't deeply rooted 
you know, um, not saying that we didn't have faith, uh, but it wavered. We were scared. We were, you know, we we didn't know what was going on, but we didn't know if anything to call on the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. But, um, we, while while he was going through, I was researching and I was studying and I was looking because. We was going to have some answers, and we was going to get the help okay. with the wisdom and understanding from the Lord. So, um, uh, awesome testimony. I, um, and I think about how how you talk about our bodies and and everything with our lungs and 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 how our bodies are created from natural resources from the earth. Our lungs and our heart affects our quality of life here on earth. That's right. So, <laughs> so what about our spiritual man? Mm -hmm. I mean, just mm -hmm. like we need lungs naturally to breathe in natural air from the earth, if you think about it, in short, pulmonary hypertension affects the way we, we live, mm -hmm. the way we move, mm -hmm. the way we have our being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes, yes it does, Shane. <laughs> 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 I'm reminded of Acts 17, <coughs> verse 28, where it says, what can we live mm -hmm. Come on. and move and, and have, have our, our being? being. As Thank you, y'all. also of your own poets have said, Yes. We are also his offspring. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, that is something because Minister Tammy prayed those same words this morning. Mm. And, you know, I use that, that reference because I want everybody to understand that we can look at pulmonary hypertension not only in the natural but in the spiritual. Amen. Because we need the breath of life. Mm -hmm. Just like we need the lungs, our natural lungs, to help us breathe. We need the breath of life from our heavenly Father to sustain us. Yes. 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 Come on. Thank you, Father. Father, we praise you. It says, man should not live off of bread alone, but every word that come out Come on now. Just like we need our spiritual food, uh, we need the same with the spiritual from the Father. Yes. Glory to God. That's true. That's true. But you know, also, Job 27, 3, 4 says, as long as I live, while I have breath, mm. breath from God, Hallelujah. my lips will speak no evil, and my tongue will speak no lies. Yes. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. The breath of God. Glory to God. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you. I, I, got, I, I got one, and I'll raise you extra then. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I got nothing in the Bible for you. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> nothing but Bible. Job 32 8 says, But there is a spirit within people. Mm -hmm. The breath of the Almighty within them mm -hmm. that makes them intelligent. Mm -hmm. Job 33 4 says, For the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Father. Yeah. Thank you. The breath of life still sustains. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, I want that breath. Yes. I, I want that breath to continue. Yeah. To I don't want to suffer from any kind of consumption. Yes. Uh, yes. That's seen in Deuteronomy. Yes. You know, the enemy tries all forms of ways mm -hmm. to try to hold you down. Mm -hmm. But again, looking at the forest instead of the tree, again, mm -hmm. the tree was Texas for us. The forest is bringing us back here. Mm. You know, to give us that heavenly food, to yes. replenish us with the breath. Yes, Lord. And look at us now. My God. Yes. Oh, God. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if we would have went to Texas? And what if we, what if, what happens if we obtain pulmonary hypertension, a restriction of the breath of life in the spirit? Pulmonary hypertension in the spirit. Well, for that baby, I have. 
Job 33, 14 Come on. 15. I love it. <laughs> Job 34, 14 through 15 says, if God were to take back his spirit mm. and withdraw his breath, Hallelujah. all life would cease. Come on. Hallelujah. And humanity would turn again to dust. Mm. I don't want to turn back to dust. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I want to keep his, I want, I want to keep his breath. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I also have another scripture that referenced it. Psalms 104, 29, 30. But if you turn away from them, they panic. When you take away their breath, they die and turn again to dust. However, when you give them your breath, life is created. Mm. And you renew the face of the earth. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. So you can say that we have a mighty and merciful God that we serve. Oh, yes. yes, Lord. Yes. He is so merciful. He is so <laughs> merciful that God, the Lord, created the heavens and stretched them out. Mm. He created the earth and everything in it. He gives us, he gives breath to everyone, life to everyone who walks the earth. Isaiah 42, 3. Mm. That's a powerful example of all healing powers that are in his hand. Amen. Praise yes, God. yes. Praise God. Because one verse that 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 we know that that gives us that that takes me to the bones when I know that God has the power in his hands is when we talk about those dry bones in yes. the and it says, this is what the sovereign law said to these bones. Mm. I will make breath into you. Hallelujah. See, that reminds me when you was laying on that table. On and I knew that God had you in your hand, in his hands. Mm -hmm. And this scripture spoke to me. Yeah. And it says, I will make breath into you. Mm. And you will come to life. Hallelujah. I will attach tendons to you mm. and make flesh come yes. upon you and cover my you with skin. God, my God. I will put breath <laughs> in you and you will come to life yes. then you will know that I am the Lord oh, yeah. Ezekiel 37 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's, and it's, it's something that this scripture spoke because when you woke up I didn't understand what you were saying when you was pointing up and I was like my what Lord are you saying? What are you saying? but when you came to and you was able to tell me you say nothing but God yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, my 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 perfect Example of stating how you know, yes, we have breath on this earth, but there's nothing like the breath from the Lord. Yes, sir. yes. There's nothing like him. And again, I was finished with John 20, 21 through 22, saying, Again, he said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive. The Holy Spirit. My, my, my. My, my, my. My, my, my. Awesome. Amen.